Yeah, technology is such a vital part of air power. I mean, it, it underpins everything we do. And it, it really is where air power came from way back in the 1900s. But um, you know, what we're able to do today is, is far ahead of what we were doing in 1914 and even 1940. And the ability for sensors now to detect things, for weapons to strike with incredible precision, um, with, with a great amount of uh, control over what, what you're achieving with the, with the aim of that weapon. Um, and you look at what Unmanned has brought us, it's brought us persistent I-Star. Um, it, it means now there's no hiding places for, for enemies, and that really does make a difference in the modern conflict, modern battlefield. Yeah, the theme's 21st Century Partnerships at this year's Air Power Conference, and they really are. I mean, it, it, it covers such a broad um, subject. Y you've got the traditional um, alliances, partnerships that we know and love, uh, particularly NATO obviously being one of the major ones of those but also coalitions of the willing that we've seen operating in places like Iraq and Syria today, um, with nations that you perhaps wouldn't have envisaged 10, 15 years ago, and, and it therefore understanding who those next partners will be in a, in a world that's even, even more complex and more troubled is going to be vital. But you've also got the partnerships with other organisations, whether they be non-governmental, um, for aid delivery, etc. And you've also got those partnerships with industry and also the nation. Um, so as the Air Force approaches its 100th year, I think it's quite appropriate that we, we really do reflect on those partnerships that have gone before, but also the ones that we need to forge in the future. If you look at operations, particularly over the last 25 to 30 years, you could not envisage conducting those operations to the level that we do without air power. It, it, it's almost like the oxygen that, that, that modern conflict needs in order to survive, either to take people to the point of, of departure or to uh, protect them through whatever they, they may come under threat but more importantly to project that power. It gives political choice. It does it in a relatively safe way uh, and allows, allows um, alliances to function and to, uh, to win. It's not quite simple.